Hello guys, Sutter Sorcerer here again, and welcome to a very unique tips and tricks video for today. Now this video is combining tips and tricks plus uh, a mod showcase, and basically what I'm going to show you guys today is how to make a large Minecraft world into a smaller one. Now I'm going to be using this map as an example because initially this map uh, was 231 megabytes, um, and I compressed it down to 16 megabytes. Now the owners of the map, Pod Crash, were wondering how I did this, so I'm going to make a tips and tricks video explaining how I did it. So either way, you're going to need around three mods for this. You're going to need World Downloader, Zombies Fly Mod with no clip enabled for Bucket, as you see here, no clipping. Um, and you're going to need Optifine to switch to texture packs. And I'm also going to provide a, an x-ray texture pack in the description down below. It's a basic one, and all it does, it removes all blocks in the game except for chests so you can see where the chests are and you're gonna uh, know why exactly you're gonna need to do that in just a bit but basically let me explain how world downloader works real fast basically world downloader is a very simple mod that when you go to your escape and you click download this world it will start downloading it it will do an exact copy of the world that you're in now the problem is okay for example if I open this chest here it will show items all these chests here have items but if I stop downloading go to single player Go to local host and as you see here all the chests are empty except for the one i opened basically if you're going to use this method you're going to have to open every single chest in the world that you want to um, transfer the data with now let's go back to the server making sure i'm going to bleep that out because i always forget the ips but there you go okay we're back on my server and it's the same thing now if i open the chest here you see there's items now I'm going to have to put world downloader again and basically every single time I open a chest it will save it. So the next thing I'm going to show exact, uh, how exactly to transfer the world and make it compressed. Now the first thing you're going to do, uh, like I just said, put world downloader on and you're going to fly to the corners of the map or the section that you want to copy. Now uh, like I said you're going to have to put the map into a server and then you're going to have to use world downloader. Okay, so this right here is the edge of the map and basically how world downloader works. Everything you see is what it downloads all the way from top to bottom. So even if you're on the top, it will just copy all the chunks. So everything below and everything above will be copied. So let me unclip that. And basically you're just going to go around in circles around the perimeter that you want and pretty much just do a um, zigzag formation to get every single chunk in the area. Now after you do all that, I'm not going to do it in this video because that would take way too much time. I'm going to go back to the center and I'm going to explain how to um, save the chest. Okay, so we're back in the center and this is where the extra texture comes back, or <laughs> extra texture pack comes in. So we go to options, we go, to, oh wait actually I need to stop download, and I go to options, video settings, and then texture packs. Go down to the texture pack I'm going to give you, which is set our source for x-ray texture pack, click it and click done. Now as you see here, everything is invisible now the reason why I have borders is just so you can see where exactly you are but you can still see the chest inside so you see the chest there chest there chest in there chest everywhere and basically what you're going to be doing now is enable no clip go into every single chest this is, a, this is the tedious part of the whole process is to open every single chest at least once and once you do that it will save the data inside the uh, file inside the chunk and there you go you're permanently set to keep that um, chest with the items inside so yeah that's pretty much exactly how you do this like I said I compressed this 231 megabyte world into a 16 megabyte world and then a zip file of two mega uh, four megabytes so it makes it so much easier for you to download and it only shows the things that you want now I do want to uh, point out real fast that when you use this mod when you go to f3 oh actually does it say f3 um, I can't tell if the F means uh, the seed now, but basically this world, um, ever since 1.2.5, uh, seeds were not able to, you know, you can't use seeds for um, servers. The servers won't provide the seeds. So basically you're going to have a, ser a seed of zero. But I do want to point out, if I go back to my regular texture pack, make sure I stop, I'm ready to stop downloading, go here, regular texture pack, default. I want to point out that um, every single chunk is or every single biome is uh, to the chunk and not based on the seed anymore. So if you change the seed, it's not really going to matter. And also, I I guess I should mention real fast how I changed everything here with um, world edit. There's a command called um, biome set. So for example, if I type in, uh, actually you're supposed to get the coordinates, but if you use world edit, you can actually change the biome. Because over here, this was a tiger biome. 
and the water in here will always freeze and you can never get this one chest down here. And I changed everything to a jungle biome because um, it looks nice. The vivid green looks amazing. And over here somehow turned to a plain biome. But yeah, if you want to change the biomes, um, I prefer you changing it on the server first, then using World Downloader because it'll be much easier. But yeah, that's a little FYI, little tips and tricks right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, all the things you'll need is going to be in the description. All the mods and plugins and my texture pack will be in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much how uh, to compress it. Now, uh, if, you, if you're still a little skeptical, I'm going to put a little snapshot right now of the before and after and showing you the megabytes of the first file and the second file and you'll see it's significantly different. That's pretty much how World Downloader works. It's a very simple mod. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks video, aka um, <laughs> tips and tricks plus mod review. If you did, it'd be awesome if you guys left a rating. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos and more tips and tricks in the future. But either way guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.